Any conversation about action cinema has to include the name Jackie Chan. It's a legal requirement. He's far from the only action star, but his accomplishments and influence on the genre are undeniable. While Chan's earliest film saw producers trying to make him into the next Bruce Lee, Chan found his own footing in the late 70s by blending creative choreography with humor. He's never looked back. So here we are talk about top 5 movies of Jackie Chan. Number 5. Dragons Forever, 1988. Golden Harvest Paragon Films. At the risk of sounding blasphemous. The true holy trinity consists of Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung, and Yuan Biao. Dragons Forever is one of their two greatest triumphs as a filmmaking team, and all three shine as fantastic martial artists with highly entertaining personas. The plot here focuses on a chemical corporation that's up to no good and the three men, a lawyer, an arms dealer, and a goofy inventor, who come together to stop. Them. Number 4. Police Story 3. Supercop 1992. Media Asia Golden Harvest. The franchise leaves Hong Kong behind for the mainland, but that's not the only big addition here. After years of women. In Chan films existing as props or punchlines, Supercop sees Chan finally work up the courage to let one be an absolute badass. Michelle Yeoh joins the mission and proves herself every bit as capable as a fighter and action star. She has the comedic patter down too, and they make for an, for an energetically entertaining duo. Number 3. Project A, 1983. Golden Harvest Media Asia. Group. You don't expect to find pirates in your Hong Kong martial arts cinema, but Chan was thinking. Outside the box with Project A and its sequel, Project A Two Inches 1987. He plays Dragon Ma, a coast guard cadet turned police officer turned rogue hero who finds a corrupt police department working in cahoots with pirates. That won't stand, and along with the always welcome Yuan Biao and Samo. Hong, Ma sets out to take the baddies down. Unlike their beloved, Lucky Stars, trilogy, films that missed landing on this list due to the trio's minimal presence and an abundance of objectively terrible comedy, the three talented friends get more to do here. Number 2. Drunken Master 2. 1994. Golden Harvest. While the bulk of Chan's 80s and 90s efforts are contemporary action films, he returned to the traditional period piece for this sequel to his 1978 classic, Drunken Master. Two, once more is the playful son to a respected man, and it's his antics that land his family in trouble. The story pits Chan's Wong Fei hung against British goons who are trying to smuggle Chinese treasures out of the country, and it balances Wong's duel fights against both the baddies and his father's ongoing disappointment. Number one. Police Story 1985. Chan had already shown an interest in accentuating his action with big stunts prior to 1985, but Police Story remains the absolute pinnacle of that pairing. The opening shantytown sequence is so epic that not only did Michael Bay rip it off for Bad Boys 2, 1993, but Sylvester Stallone borrowed a beat for Tango and Cash, 1989, as well. There's more beauty and miracles of the human body in this opening 20 minutes than you'll find in most entire movies. And there's still 80 more minutes to go.